Why do you feel that this house is haunted? Well, after we got the work done, I started feeling like yeah, things were watching me and I would see like shadow figures and I would kept catching my eye, like I kept turning. And then I just brushed it off. And one day when I was upstairs, I was just washing my face in the morning and I felt a burning sensation start up on the middle of my back, like under my bra strap. Mm -hmm. And then there were just like scratches going How down. How many scratches? There were like five, like all, a whole hand. That's like when it first started. I get home, I would legitimately just pass out. Like, I go work 12 hours, and then I come home and have dinner, and then I just go straight to bed. And then, like, when I'm taking a shower, because <clears throat> it's um, all glass, mm -hmm. I just feel like somebody's just staring at me right there at the entryway. Like, and you have a peeping Tom. Yes. <laughs> and I just keep, and I go like this because of the fog. I'm like, okay, look who's there. And I just keep feeling it. And he came home, and then he came around the corner and scared the hell out of me because I was already on edge. Oh, yeah, she would scream. So you've already had your own paranormal experiences in your other home. Mm -hmm. that you were After every referencing. home I've lived in. Okay. Something's... So do you think maybe that you have an attachment? Like maybe so something is following you? Maybe. Since our first house in Bellflower, I was born and raised there. We lived there until 16. Mm -hmm. So a man hung himself in our garage before we moved in, and then there's always something there. And then the other three houses, same thing, like weird it's stuff. Something that maybe not just her, because at my grandma's house, every year when my uncle he passed, but he passed when he was born. If they wouldn't take him flowers to his grave, you would hear crying in the house, or it'd be like weird. And then one, I think when we were, I was 15, my brother was 16, the one that was here. I thought one day I was like, oh, he's still in the bathroom. He's because I heard the toilet flushing and I'd hear noise. And then I got up to go use the restroom. I'm like, damn, he's still in there. And then I opened the door and he's not there. And he's like, I'm at work, dude. I've been at work for the last 45 minutes. And I was like, well, who the heck was here flushing the toilet? It was weird though. It was just like, I don't know. So I've actually had some, but no, probably as much as she has. Well, that's kind of creepy, you know, and especially <laughs> hearing. Um, every year, if nobody takes some flowers, oh, no, yeah, friend, that would yeah. totally creep me out. Yeah. Too. I'd probably be like, I'm gone, I'm out. I would, I would go to my friend's house right across the street, and my grandma would be like, Where are you at? And I'm like, I'm not coming home until there's people there. Yeah. It's really odd. I've, I've heard of so many like stories, but I've never heard of anything like that. Coming into the home, I immediately know that there's a male energy because I see this male out the corner of my right eye and I hear him breathing in my he's ear. Um, he's, he's, your pee -pee you he's your pee pee oh, Tom. He's your pee pee Tom. He's giving me the chance. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm asking him while you guys are talking, like, what is your name? It starts with an A, like Adrian, um, something very, something like that. I don't know if that is his exact name, but it's something within that range, like an AD. Okay. It could, maybe it can even be Andy. Beaumont, it's it's an old town. Yeah, you know, it's town. it's known for antiquing. To, um, um, you know, like when the pickers come, when they yeah. can kind of when they're looking for certain things, they can just go into somebody's home in their backyard and kind of pick it up, type of a thing. Um, and not only that, but it, nobody really knew about Beaumont until the whole Anthony Martinez, the boy who actually oh, was kidnapped. Oh, we actually right. knew him. I'm gonna kick you all out of your own home oh, <laughs> just so yeah. we can document and yeah. kind of see what's going on. Totally. Um, after we're gonna clear, and then I will send you a text. Okay. And I will let you know, like, okay, you're good to come home. Okay, cool. Okay.
video games up there? Smell that smell? What is that? That's that's the female. Smell it like a friend of like a person. It's got the chills. I don't know if you can notice. If you yeah, notice I, that. I see. I'm I still know. getting the chills. I don't know. Okay, it's long, it's long. I'm still getting the chills. Yeah, it's showing. So who was the one who actually had the floral perfume? Why don't you let me smell your perfume again? <laughs> no, it's like it's like creepy in there because <laughs> it's, it's like yeah, because it's like super like dark in there. It's like super like dark in there, and like you know, someone like and that like little like knocking can like come like right behind you. This bed is really weird. This bed is really weird. Is there anyone in this room with me? So I keep hearing your name is Adrian. Is that correct? Mm -mm. Oh man, I'm gonna lie. I can't even see you. I just see you because of the camera. Really dark in here. <laughs> Want to tell me why you're here? Oh, that was not me. <laughs> that was not me. I knew what I was gonna do. <laughs> you want to make yourself known? You want to turn the fan on for me? You want to turn the fan on for me? Better turn that light back on. Why? It's scary. Why are you back? Nope. 
Yeah, I think he did. I did. What was it? Right. Yeah. I don't know me because I, I like move back. No, I think I'm there. Okay. I think we heard like voices right now. You want to say that again? Make some noise for me on the stairs. You heard that? I heard something. What was that? I, I heard someone like walking up the stairs. I'm being so serious right now. <laughs> um, I think I'm getting here. You heard that? I heard like a thump. I heard it again. I'm really hearing like people talking. Like chatter, that's what I'm hearing. You want to say that louder? I can't, I just can't make out what you're saying. That was not me. What is that? That's that's the female. Smell it like a fragrance. That's like perfume. A, I just got the chills. I don't know if you can notice. Yeah, I, I see. I don't know. I don't know if it'll come up on camera, but I'm still getting the chills. Yeah, it's chilling. All right, it gets you on camera. I think we should go back up there. I think there's like a lot of stuff up there. Okay. How come if I keep like turning it off? Because I'm gonna take off the medication. Down here, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like it's like better right down here. There's like nothing like up there. So who was the one who actually had the floral perfume? Why don't you let me smell your perfume again? You are? Yeah. Come down here. 
I'm not smelling it now, but when I came back here, I was smelling it. It looks like they're actually like flowers. That's um, what I was going to um, ask um, you. Smell them and see how it smells. These aren't real. No, what about the other one? What about fake? Okay. That's definitely going to be the female then. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Is there someone here? I'm smelling it again. Mom, you hear that? 